Hey Stampers, Gator again, and I'm coming back with week 31 sketch. Can you believe how fast this year is going by? Oh my goodness, I know, it's unbelievable. But I haven't got it on my phone to show you today, but you will get it just straight away after seeing my cards. So I, again, I've done it in silver and white. I am loving this velveteen paper with the patterns on from the points yet at the range, absolutely stunning. Well, this is exactly how the sketch looks. There's a flag. It didn't ask for anything here, apart from a white space. So I thought, why not just oval cut yourself this beautiful paper out and this. It calls for stitching around the side and two strips down the side. So I thought, oh, I've got some beautiful silver card that somebody gave to me a long time ago with different patterns on. Let me show you. So, somebody sent me these, and that one to me is, I don't know, a bit like Hessian. Sorry about the lighting. And then there's this one, it's a bit more like a crocodile skin. Can you see my new light? So my camera's on my ceiling now, look. Uh, a bit like a, an animal print. And then this one with gorgeous script writing all over it. Absolutely stunning. There's me. Hi. <laughs> right there. Hi. <laughs> so I use this one, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they've all got coloured backings, but they're just absolutely stunning. I love them. I I have absolutely loads and loads and loads. Let me just break them out and show how many somebody sent me. Look at all this. And they've got different coloured backings. All oh, just so many, so I might do a share one day. Oh, oh, there's my gold paper. Oh, forgot all about that. So yeah, I've got lots of this. There must be about thirty sheets or more there. Oh, I love this gold paper. Actually, I forgot I had that. Oh, it's mad what you find when you go looting. Glitter. Oh, I've got my glitter card from. This was from the range silver card all the different oh this is now this is like a champagne copper uh, A4 premium glitter card in that was from the range as well I like that but oh, I'm getting ready for my fist the festive season with all these Oh, look, I just found to make a wish. Selling papers, people have sent. Oh, found more DSP. Oh, what else have I found? One. Oh, I forgot all about this. Look at this. This is the luxury flutter, but a flutter by collection. They're luxury foiled cards. You get a pack of 24. Look. And they you blend down so you can just add colour to them yourself. That's got spots on, this has got the butterflies on, this has got love hearts, this has got this beautiful swirly pattern, writing, and back to the butterflies, spots. Oh, I'll show you now as you're coming up. There we go. That's what they looks like with the silver on. There's the butterflies, there's the love hearts, there's that gorgeous floral. Uh, pattern. Then the writing. Back to the butterflies. More butterflies. Oh my goodness. Swirly pattern. More butterflies. I remember doing a card and I coloured this and added a sentiment and it turned out really, really nice. Oh, I forgot I had that. I knew I had all these. Wow. Just all those fabulous backgrounds. So I'm using the one with the right the scripty writing on and I think I'm just gonna pull my gold glitter papers to the top so I don't forget that I've got and I've got this gorgeous pink colour as well. Whoa, lovely. They were under my paper pumpkin boxes and my vellum papers. And oh 
lots of nice jazzy patterns there. Oh, again, it's not rooting. Get on with the card. You don't want to know all that. <laughs> As I get so carried away with myself. So I'm going to show you how I made mine. It's quite simple, actually. Uh, didn't, did I use that for the sentiment in the end? Yes, I think I did. So we're going to lose number five of the ovals, uh, the scalloped and the layering. Uh, the straight and the scalloped. A little, a little bit there. I'll get it out in a minute. Oh, no, there's my sentiment. And do you know what? This didn't call for this, actually. I tell her it called for a point down, so I might rectify. Instead of a point up, it needs to be a point down. That's the only difference. Don't know what made me uh, think of a point the other way. So this is for flowers. I... I've got that little strip there and I'm going to cut another strip. So what I did with my cardstock is measure it and it was that is let me just straighten that off to there. I don't need that bit. So it was there, now I'm just taking it down a quarter of an inch. And that's how I got those two strips. And they're both up exactly a quarter of an inch. Perfect. So they are to go down my gorgeous. And you have, it It would have if it had taken a lot of time. I use my little one eighth of an inch tape to hold them in place because it just wouldn't stick. This is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And these are a quarter of an inch by five and five eighths. I've got a scrap piece of this now for my white piece to go over. So I'm just going to run that through the big shot. It takes seconds. out beautifully absolutely gorgeous there's that gorgeous pattern and I'm going to save that section well, I can go back in my stash oh I am absolutely boiling so we've got those two pieces we've got that piece I now need to cut Oh, where's that piece gone actually I had a I had a piece done for the oval oh it's cut the wrong way I don't want it to cut on the side like that because the writing mind you saying that look how small it is you're not going to see it anyway so let's do it that way space for flowers yeah I just used the same layer as the other one so I like to mark mine out from smallest down to the up and the back and forth because that's how they are one two three four five six seven eight there is no one two three four one, two, three, four, five, six. The seven of the scalloped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of the normal size ones, these ones. What have I just done? What a silly ninny. Look. I needed it to be a scallop and I've just put it away. Again, is a silly sausage. Gaina now doesn't have a piece big enough, so Gaina now needs to get some more paper. Let's cut it the right way. What am I like, girls? What am I like? Let's cut some three inches. Let's do four just to be on the safe side. 
by three. That's going to be too big now, isn't it? I just realised after I cut it. And fancy cutting another oval. Put the oval away, it's the, it's the scalloped one. So yeah, now we've got plenty. Timing with Lola, she's oh my god, she's so missing us like crazy. We miss her so much. Coming down for a visit for the last two weeks of the summer holidays, fingers crossed. Because I can't do the drive anymore, but uh, and Mr. Boyce won't drive on his own, so hopefully, look at that. What am I like? I'll cut my flowers out with that. So that's uh, spares now. This is the piece I wanted. And there is that gorgeous oval layering. This is just a spare piece of whipper white for the centres of my flowers. I might, ooh, I might use that bit, you know, and not use the white. So it's okay to glue on the back. It's just when you come to gluing on the top, because of the velvet, you gotta use tape. And I'm using just a thin layer because and you can't really see the glue. Just gonna give that a good rub from the back. I don't want it to move, so I'll leave that to one side. So, dimensionals out. I'm using this. this is a it's a it's like a little fibrous tape. You can't you can't tear this. It's just so brilliant. And I'm going to rub it down those beautiful strips that we just cut off. behind get my other strip and yeah this instead of going up I need to come down so what I'm going to do I'm going to mark the back actually and it measures one and a half so I'm going to get my little pencil put a little dip at three quarters which is right there and now this is one and three eighths so this is just going right in the middle there. And we're just going to hold the two together. Push that to the edge. And, oh, are we going to mark up the sides or are we just going to cut? Oh, I don't know. Let's just... Should really, shouldn't I? That looks pretty even. I'll soon tell you. I'll get those two little squares, uh, triangles even. Oh, look at that. More or less bang on the same. Perfect. And then that will get, yeah, it's supposed to be like that, not like the other way around. 
Look at that, perfect little layering, absolutely fabulous. Gonna look totally different now on my card. And that's gonna go on there. Perfect, love it. So I'm gonna add some tape on the back of here. Club bombs, this. Do you remember that song? Oh, gonna add another strip. This stuff is so strong. I love it. That's plenty. And now we're going to attach to this piece here. I need my ruler. I'm literally, I want it to come in about three quarters of an inch. And that make sure the writing's the right way around, that's it. Right, I'm not pressing until I get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three quarters, there it is. And now I can press. And then I'm gonna flip, but this piece is gonna be upside down so I can get it the right way. So turn that way. And again, I want to mark three quarters. three quarters as well perfect did that move did that move let me check three quarters at the bottom at the top three quarters at the bottom boom it's on and then I'm gonna add dimensionals to this because you've got to stick your flowers on with dimensionals as well <coughs> because for some reason the glue just doesn't want it it takes ages for the glue to stick it down I like to use the outside pieces first It was still attached to its paper. Oh, come on, there we go. And then we can. Come up. Now it's on, now you can press. I wouldn't press until it is on. Let's peel back these bits. And then 
no, I didn't turn it round. That, that is not. Oh, I'll have to just make make sure it's upside down. So grab the distance either side, make it roughly the same. That is so cute. Now we can attach. Yay! And what I did was I just went up. just a little blob in each corner perfect just get that quick rub with your bone folder That is looking fine. Can't hardly see anything. Uh, my little stamp is here. Let's get that. I'm using my Jet Jet Black, as you know. Mm, I love this stuff. I've already got it lined up with the with the line. So fingers crossed. And it says, you made my day. Oh, I love it. I love the font on that as well. It's absolutely stunning. Make sure it's crystal clear. And that sentiment is from So Much Shirt Love. And it's this one. Uh, you know, it's this one, you made my day. Oh, I'm gonna grab them dots, I think. Just for the inside of the card, because we haven't added anything on the inside. So let's have a quick dot de -do, do do So just tap, and then I'm just gonna go up the side until it runs out. Cool. I like it like. Let's do that on this one. Just one tap. And this time we'll come from the top down. Perfect. Love it. Oh my goodness, look what I've done. Ah, oh, My goodness, I have made a bright booby with that right keep that out swap that over get our sentiment again oh my goodness and flip it over I don't know what's happened there Better. Right now, get over there now, out of the way, just so it can dry. Well, well, well. Okay, I made a boo boo. Let's put the lid on that before we do anything else to it. Let's get some flower cutting. Ooh. So, I used the large flower from this one. I used the little pansy from this one and I used the little flower, this is old and retired. So I'm going to get two of those. And then that can go back in my little cube. One, 
I'm not going to get another one from that. But I'm going to get one from here. Two. That's a love that little pansy punch. And then I want two of the large ones. So. Oh, that one's stiff. So there's one. And will I get one out of there? I doubt that. No, I'm not even going to get out of that, so... There we go, we got it out of our oval instead. I saved them for all the flowers. And that isn't even got its thing anymore. That popped off ages ago. So that's gonna go back in my region. And I'm gonna use these. I need two little half inch circles. I'd have had smaller but there's one. And I'm going to glue that on there. And I got another one there. And I need one, two, three, four of the small ones. So let's try and get some swirls while we're here. come from but oh I must have cut the other one out at the bottom as well yes I did and four cute and that's retired as well that's a itty bitty one right oh now let's get these glued on gently I love that floral pattern in there, that swirly pattern then in the centre. I'm not even squeezing. Wow, these tiny little dots. tool just so I can make sure he's right in the center don't worry if you get any glue on top it soon washes off I've got cramp coming, look in my hands. Ugh. Making sure that's right in the centre. And if you do get any glue like that on that, just grab a bit of Winker Stella. Evaporates the glue. Perfect. I did add Winker Stella onto my other centers. That's come off. That's not good. 
until I press down. Extended those. Look at them too. Have a look at that. It sets the sparkle out on them. They look like number twos, don't they? Depends on which way around you put the swirl, but I can see that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to grab. All I did was basically just pop them in the center of my hand and press down and then I'm going to flip them over and add a large dimensional to the big ones I'm going to put the dimensional on first Smooth look. Wow, stay glued. It's got a dimensional on, and then the small ones on the small flowers. I will crush them or press in the centers in a minute. just about goes on. Da da da. Doopy doopy doo. Oh, let's do our stitching first. So with my journaling pen just doing my faux stitching do the long sides first Could be a nice anniversary card or a silver wedding anniversary, yeah. I'd look lovely. Not so much on this one. I'll do fine. The hair in my mouth. Yeah, the little. Now we can glue this down. Now that it's had a chance to dry. You made my day. Oh, that's beautiful. And it called for two dots here either side and the two dots here either side. So I'm using my rhinestones for them. So 
so there's two. Oops. Of level. Yeah. And then one, two on that side. Trying to keep that pretty level there. Looks cool to me. Or you can just just oh, that keeps popping off that does for some reason. I don't know why that is doing that. Shouldn't be. And then I want one flower there. Just press. One flower there. And a small one. There. So cute. And then we spin this and do the same. One there. One there. Oh, I need the back on again, I think, because you haven't pressed it. There we go. Push it back in there. And our little one, just there. Oh, it fell off that one as well. Wow. Perfect. Oh my goodness. And I'm just going to add one more little gem because there's six on total. And I'm thinking just about there. Oh, there we go. There is my version of week 31 sketch. Now that is the right order, not that one, but they both look really pretty. And I like the fact that I've got the vellum in there as well instead of plain cardstock with Win Costello over the top. But there we have it. This is my version of this week's sketch. Week 31. And there we go, I'll hold it up for you. Absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I'll hold the two. And do you prefer the point down or the, do you prefer that one? It's entirely up to you. This one's one we just done. And that's the one I did earlier. Absolutely gorgeous. You could send that for a birthday, an anniversary, you made my day, and then add something in there if you wanted, but you could put happy anniversary, happy birthday, 80th, 70th, I don't know, what is, whoever you want to sell, oh, send them to, but they are absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love. Use indeed three different flowers as well. So, a give a thumbs up, <coughs> and a share, thank you, oh, sorry about that. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to press subscribe and the little bell. Let's see if I can adjust that. Let's have a look. They get warm after a bit. Wow, has that brightened it up? I always think it makes it look darker. Yeah, it just to me it makes it look darker. Oh well, but then lots of shadow, whoa, <laughs> and then it gives me a glowing forehead, so maybe not, maybe we'll take them back, 
Whoa, now Gain has gone blind. I can't see. <laughs> so, come and see what I make tomorrow, peeps. Love you all. Take care. Bye.